Hello friends, welcome to Astro Crescent. My name is Pavan Bhardwaj. In this short video, I will explain how we can download data from James Webb Space Telescope or JWST. This data can be processed using Pixinsight, Photoshop or GIMP or Cyril or whatever processing software you have. And uh, you can produce images like this for the Carina Nebula or Stephens Quintet or the Southern Ring Nebula. So let's get started. The procedure for downloading data and extracting the files is similar whether you are using a Windows computer or a Mac. So launch your web browser and type in the web address like I have shown here mast mast .stsci.edu. When the page is loaded, the rest of the address is automatically filled up. Go to the advanced search tab here and you can see the search engine starts looking for millions and millions of records. So in the object name or position uh, type in NGC3324 which is the Carina Nebula and hit enter. In the mission box here, enter JWST and hit the return or enter key. Now let's wait for a second. As you see, it has found 10 records. Click the search button on the top left corner and it's loading the files. There are 10 big files here and you can see here the mission name JWST and instrument type is MIRI image MIRI image which stands for mid infrared image and NIRCAM which stands for near infrared camera. On the right hand side you can see a picture an image and the data is for this small box for the image within this small box which is the Carina Nebula and that's what we were we are getting. On the left side click the DIRCAM image and now you see only six files. This small floppy icon this indicates the download button. So we click on the first one, a new window opens which shows here at the bottom that the file is being downloaded. These files are more than one gigabyte each. So make sure you have enough space on your hard disk on your computer. Uh, let me click the second one as well. So I'll pause the video recording here and download all the files all the six files one two three four five six files have been downloaded by default they go to the downloads folder of your computer so let's confirm that all these six files have been downloaded uh, to my computer and then we will close this window so minimize this and this is my downloads folder and all six files they are on my computer now I can now close Google Chrome on my desktop. I'll just make a new folder. Let me name it Karina JWST. We will now unzip all these files one by one. Just double click it and it will unzip in the same folder. Similarly, we will unzip the second one. 
the third file and unzip all of them. All the zip files have been extracted now and each one of them has made a folder like this. Within each must folder you can see there is another folder JWST. Click that and within that there is one more folder this one which says NIRCAM clear F444W which indicates the filter number. Within that folder the only file we need is this fits file. So what I'll do is make another folder on my desktop, uh, name it Karina fits and move the files, the fits files to this new folder. Uh, similarly, I'll go to the second mast folder, click JWST, NIRCAM clear F090W filter, pick up the FITS file which says I2D in the end. There is one more FITS file which is segmented file or SEGM, we don't need that. So pick up that file and move it to the FITS folder. Go to uh, next one, JWST clear 200 W filter I2DS fits file and bring it here. Do that with all the unzipped folders. Now I will open up PixInsight and drop these files one by one. So let me start with this smallest number filter which is F090W. So the fits file is opening up PixInsight. Wow. So this one fits file has opened up so many images. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need only one of them. Uh, this file is something, there are some calibration files, I guess. VAR flat. Let's check that by giving it a soft stretch. We don't need that, so close that window. Second one here is uh, VAR, R noise, read noise or something like that. Let's see what is that. Okay, I don't need that. Third file, another VAR poison. Let's see what is this. Wow. I don't need that. Next, something white WHT. Anyway, I don't need this file. This is also some corn. Anyway, close that. ERR. No, I don't need this. So I'm now left with only one file which says SCI in the end. Here it says I2D SCI. Let's give it a soft stretch here. That is the only file I need out of the seven files. So in the same fashion, uh, we will drag and drop each file from uh, the fits folder that I just made and open that. So I'll minimize this file, this image, uh, put it aside and bring the other ones into PixInsight. The next filter is 1F187N. There you go. We have to work on them one by one. Otherwise all the seven images from each filter file uh, will mess up the whole thing. So I'll come back when all is done. This is the last file uh, which has filter F444W to F470N. So I have uh, given a soft stretch to each file, each useful file and here they are.
So six files. First for filter F090W, second for F187N, next for F200W, next F335M, next F444W, and the last one is F444W to F470N. Now I'm ready to process these files, uh, combine them into one RGB image uh, using uh, pixel math uh, that I'll leave for the next video. Uh, these files, you can also uh, convert them to TIFF files, save them as TIFF file and process in Photoshop or in Serial or any other post-processing software that you have. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining today. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing.